Hello, in this video we will go over how to add Zoom to your My Courses site. To begin, go to the plus sign in the top left corner of your site and click on Tool Link. From the Type drop-down list, choose the very last option, Zoom Pro. Name your link Live Classroom and then check Available to Users so that students will be able to see the link you're adding. Click Submit and then click on the new Live Classroom link you created. If you've never used Zoom before, this page won't come up as it's showing right now. Instead, you'll need to go to your email inbox and click a link that Zoom sent to you to finish creating your account. Once your account's created, you can come back to your My Courses site, and when you click on the Live Classroom Zoom link, you'll get a page that looks like the one I see here. So it's important to make sure you click that link before you're able to do anything in Zoom in My Courses. The first thing you'll need to do is schedule a meeting for any sessions upcoming where you'd like to meet with students. You can click the Schedule a New Meeting button, and then on this page, you can fill in the information for the meeting. So here I'll say this is my meeting for Tuesday at 11 a.m. And then here I can set the Tuesday I'm talking about and the time that it's happening. I can say how long the meeting's going to be. You can overestimate, that's fine. We recommend leaving most of these settings on default, except record this meeting automatically. If you know you want the entire session to be recorded, you can check that box and it will take care of it automatically. Otherwise, from within the meeting, you're able to start and stop the recording whenever you'd like. Click Save, and your meeting has been created. If you come back to the Zoom course meetings page, you'll see your session sitting there, and students will be able to click on it once you've started it to join you. Now that your first Zoom meeting has been created, you and the students will click on the Live Classroom link, and then from this page, you as the instructor will start the meeting. Zoom is going to ask you to save a file and run it, so you should save it to your computer and do just that. Once the file has downloaded, double click on it, and if Zoom's already installed, the session will launch, otherwise Zoom will install on your computer. It only ever has to install once, so every subsequent meeting will open a bit more quickly. First thing it does is ask you to join with computer audio, and if you have a microphone on your computer, that's what we recommend that you do. By default, your instructor microphone is already on, and the little microphone is bouncing to indicate that it's picking up my sound, but if you'd like to turn off your sound, you can click on the microphone to mute yourself. Likewise, you can click the camera icon to turn your video on or off if your computer is equipped with a webcam. Along the bottom, you can click on chat to open up the chat that students and you can access along the right side here. And then you can use the share screen option to share any pieces of your screen with your students so that they can see whatever you're looking at, similar to how they might on a projector. You'll also notice a record button down along the bottom where you can record to the cloud. You should do this if you want your students to be able to review the session after it's happened. Under Manage Participants, you're able to see every student who's in the room with you. And lastly, if you needed to invite someone else into the room, you can click Invite and then type their email address in using the default email option. You can also click Copy URL to just copy the link and email it to someone if you need it. Once you're done, you can click End Meeting and say End Meeting for All to end the session. If you have any questions about Zoom, you can reach us at ithelp.umassd.edu. Thank you.